Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and this is the Bowler La Lune combo attack strategy for Town Hall 10. Uh, not that detailed, this video is gonna be a little bit shorter because I don't have as many attacks to show, but I wanted to get this out there as soon as possible because uh, not a lot of people know about it, so most bases aren't set up to defend against it, and by the time some of the bigger YouTube channels uh, start showing this attack strategy, people will already be defending against it in their bases. So if you guys can learn this quickly, for those of you Town Hall 10s out there, you could have a huge leg up in war if you use it right. So we'll talk about the strategy. Uh, this first attack is gonna be an example uh, the, of, the of the attack strategy. This is one of my attacks from the uh, most recent arranged war that's actually still going on right now. Should be an epic ending. You guys will see more of that on the channel over the next few days. But uh, specifically for this attack strategy, you're basically bringing a kill squad. Typically that's gonna be your heroes uh, and a lot of bowlers. You can use Valks depending on the base, but I've found that bowlers work a little better and uh, they're, they're gonna get a little more of the base taken out for you. They can reach over walls. You don't have to invest quite as many spells in them. Uh, they're just a better choice on most bases. But taking a look at this base, you can see three air defenses, all pretty accessible. If you come in from the top left here, uh, from this angle up here at about 10 o'clock, you can get the Inferno Tower and three air defenses taken out, plus the Queen and the CC troops uh, with just dropping a jump right on that expo in that area. So that's what you want to look for. You want to try to get two to three air defenses and the Inferno Tower the queen, the CC troops, you want to get those things taken out with your kill squad, plus just a big part of the base, you know, typically over 50% of the base taken out with your kill squad, because the Laloon is a little more, it's not quite as powerful, it's just to take out that extra half or third of the base that remains, so you want to get most of the job done with your kill squad, invest most of your spells with them, but one thing to notice is the heal spell is also huge for your bowlers. You want to heal them as soon as that first inferno goes down because unlike on a mass bowler attack, you don't have any healers to get them back up to full health. They're, they're going to go down eventually, nothing's healing them, and uh, they don't have a ton of hit points, the giant bombs, the wizard towers, all that splash damage can be pretty damaging, so you want that heal spell to keep your bowlers up a little longer than they usually would, that'll help them get deeper into the base, get all the air defenses taken out, and set up your Laloon part of the attack, because unless you get a big chunk of the base taken out with your kill squad, the Laloon part is not going to work. So, like I said, these three air defenses, all reachable. Uh, that Inferno Tower will go down to the Queen as she walks by. And uh, looking at the Laloon part of the base, the, the Laloon part of the attack will be used on, um, you can see that these cannons, uh, the ground expo, nothing's going to really be targeting the uh, air troops too much. You do have a few archer towers, but that's pretty much it. Just one air defense, and uh, we talk about the Lava Hound rule, bringing one more Lava Hound than the number of air defenses left up. That's not going to apply quite as much to this strategy. Typically, you're only going to bring uh, one Lava Hound for each air defense. Now, if there's only one air defense and you have room, you can bring two, but sometimes you won't have the troop space because you're bringing a lot of bowlers, so it might just be one Lava Hound for each air defense, and typically that'll be fine if you deploy your troops right. So I only bring one Lava Hound. It is the level 4 one in the CC, which helps because it has a little more hit points than usual, and uh, just going to come in here for this Inferno Tower. Pretty easy pathing. Archer Tower to Inferno Tower. Uh, just the second building they target will be that inferno i brought a freeze for the inferno typically that's what you want to do if you have the spell space bring one freeze for that back end inferno it'll help protect your balloons a lot better and then just kind of swarm the rest of this base with balloons get that last air defense taken out and that'll be pretty much it so we'll watch the attack we'll talk a little bit about how it works out as it goes then we'll watch one more attack that didn't work out quite as well. We'll talk about that base and uh, why it probably could have been taken out by this strategy, but the plan had to be just a little bit different. Pretty good plan on that second attack, just didn't quite work. But anyway, while we're on my attack, taking a look at this opener, this is just a cheeky little opener that I like doing, and I think this is pretty good for most attacks. Dropping down that one golem and the queen behind, it's kind of like a queen walk. I'm doing the same funneling I do for a queen walk, but instead, just using a golem to tank, I'll get two point defense taken out, plus an awesome funnel for my bowlers. On the other side, dropping down the king, a few valks. This is a fresh hit, so that one uh, Tesla kind of threw me off a little bit. It pulled my king down, 
but uh, works out fine. The king doesn't go into the base, but no big deal. The bowler's making their way in because the funnel was so awesome due to that queen opener. There's the first rage to get everything moving quicker. The queen will take out that inferno, uh, the poison for the CC troops. And look at that. Here's the heal. You need that heal because you saw the giant bombs going off. Those bowlers would get roasted by the CC troops and all the defenses, plus the giant bombs had that heal not been down. But because I healed them up, they're at full health. I dropped that next rage and they can get much deeper into the base than if there wasn't a heal. All three air defenses are down. Now it's time for the lava hound to come in. Uh, lava hound, three balloons. I I have the haste to get them moving a little quicker. Typically, all you need is a haste. You don't need a rage because you don't need that extra damage. Uh, freeze for the Inferno. Probably didn't even need that because the Queen was already on it, but it helped the balloons out a little bit. There were quite a few seeking air mines by the air defense, so my Lava Hound goes down pretty quickly, but I have enough balloons to overpower the rest of the space, and that's why it's so critical to take out a huge part of the base with your bowlers, because oftentimes the Lava Hounds will go down and all you have left are your balloons, and you can't have a bunch of Teslas and Wizard Towers, Archer Towers. You can't have all those normal defenses still up because they'll take out your balloons. Balloons. So you want to get a big chunk of the base taken out with your kill squad and just save a smaller piece for your Laloon part of the attack. But as you can see, it worked out awesome here. Go ahead and fast forward to the end and we'll take a look at one attack that didn't work out quite as well and uh, why it didn't work out. So let's uh, back out. You can see this war is still going on. Should be an epic ending. I'm excited for it. But looking at this next base, which was attacked by Mr. Alec, who had a pretty solid plan. Uh, it's also somewhat susceptible to this strategy. Uh, the difference is this base has the four air defenses kind of in a rectangle, and that's what you'll see more often than not. So on most bases, all you can take out is two air defenses, which is fine. He comes in here with a similar kill squad of bowlers, comes in at the bottom here, takes out uh, this air defense, the Inferno Tower, drops down a jump to get to the core here, and I think that the main thing that cost him this attack was not having the heal spell for his bowlers. They go down a lot quicker to giant bombs and wizard towers, so he doesn't get this next air defense taken out. Had he got that air defense taken out and maybe a little bit more of the core, I think this would have been a three star, but his troops kind of uh, fade out before... Uh, he's able to take out most of the core, and because of that, his Lava Hounds, his balloons, can't handle the rest of the base. But you'll see he only brings two Lava Hounds, and that was just fine had only two air defenses been left up. It was because that third air defense was still left up that he wasn't able to get the three star. So you'll see what I mean as we go through this attack. Drops down that golem uh, to tank, the king, the queen. Uh, a little bit of an easier funnel than I had, just drops down those baby dragons. They do an awesome job taking out uh, the buildings to create the funnel. Those wall breakers go in and get two layers of the walls taken out, so he drops that jump up to connect the core. You can see the queen will take out that uh, inferno tower. CC troops come out, and right here, this is where the heal would have been huge, uh, because you'll see in just a moment the inferno tower goes down, and then the giant bombs go off, and the bowlers die a lot quicker than they probably needed to. Uh, right there only has like one or two bowlers left up. I think, you know, maybe not f for certain, but I think probably a heal spell would have kept everything up long enough to take out that wizard tower in the core, which will be important in a minute, and the air defense, which is extremely important to this attack, uh, but comes in with the Lava Hound to tank for that air defense, sends in the balloons, and uh, you can see the Lava Hound will last just long enough to tank for these balloons, and uh, right when it goes down, the balloons close in on this last air defense, or not this, this, this next air defense. Here comes the Max Lava Hound from the Clan Castle. It has a lot more hit points, so it can tank for a lot longer. Sends in those balloons, has more haste spells, and those keep the balloons moving quickly. So awesome stuff there. Has the freeze for the Inferno. But right here, the balloons don't path into that next uh, Inferno because the core is still left up. Because that Wizard Tower, the Air Sweeper, is still up, the balloons don't target that Inferno directly. So the Inferno stays up, the balloons go down, plus that next Air Defense takes out uh, the remaining Lava Hound. But you can see he still had a Lava Hound left over even after the first two air defenses go down, which shows that two Lava Hounds for two air defenses can work out uh, fine for you as long as you get a big chunk of the base taken out too. 
Uh, just couldn't quite finish off the core, couldn't get that third air defense. I think that would have made the difference in this attack, but nice try to Mr. Alec. Good plan, and who knows, maybe someone will tweak it and get the three star before this war is over. But I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible to give you guys a chance to get a leg up on the competition and start three starring some bases at Town Hall 10 with this strategy. So hope it helped. Wasn't too in depth, but showed the right ideas, I think. And one more time, send in a big kill squad. Pr probably going to use bowlers, your heroes, all that good stuff. Get in there, take out an Inferno, two to three air defenses, the Queen, the CC troops. From there, one Lava Hound for each uh, air defense left up, a few Balloons, a few Haste spells, maybe a Freeze for the back end Inferno, and uh, you'll see that pretty much everything will go down and you'll get the three star if it's executed correctly. So not a strategy for every base, but most bases at right now at least are susceptible to it. So think about using it, think about trying it out in friendly challenge at least, and uh, good luck to those of you Town Hall 10s that might use this. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, hope you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys later with more coverage of this arranged war, which should be awesome, should have an epic ending, and has some great attacks to show. So you guys will see that very soon, and uh, I'll see you guys then. Bye, Sectatron out.